Hello everyone, today we're, uh, let's look at this uh, photo. Uh, this is a patient wearing a partial denture, okay, in the upper. Okay, and uh, our topic today is uh, torus pal palatinus. We're going to talk about torus palatinus. It's a palatal tori range from a small smooth elevations uh, to lobular swelling, uh, such as, as this one, as you can see. The bone is covered by only a thin mucosa, which is prone to trauma. Can you see here? This is the uh, this is uh, the this is the torus palatinus. Okay, it's covered with a very thin mucosa, which is really um, it could be very sensitive. Okay, especially for patients with uh, uh, for edentulous patients, uh, they wear complete dentures. So this it's really um, uh, really hard for them to bear okay if they have this uh, torus palatinus so the main so what should we do we can remove uh, or remove this uh, torus palatinus in order to uh, uh, to make a proper fitting of the denture okay so torus palatinus palatinus is commonly forms towards the posterior of the midline of the hard palate the swelling is rounded and symmetrical Sometimes with a midline groove, it is not usually noticed until middle age. And if it interferes with the fitting of the denture, it should be removed, okay? So this is a torus palatinus, and this is, it really happens, uh, some people have it, not all people have it, but uh, uh, some people have uh, um, this bony mass, uh, which makes it difficult for old patients uh, to wear the denture, and will make uh, an ill-fitting denture so what we do we remove it as we said before we remove uh, the torus palatinus uh, this bony mass uh, in order to uh, to allow proper fitting of the denture uh, to the patient